All right, hi guys. Do you need something new and just kind of something to add to your homeschool? Maybe you have some younger kids that you need to be focused on something so you can work with older kids, or maybe you have older kids that just need a break and need something new. Well, I have a homeschool tip for you that I have been using for years, and it comes from my Montessori background, and I would love to share it with you today. So stay tuned if you wanna hear what we do to just liven things up and have fun. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna be sharing something with you today that I hope will help you in your homeschool. And the great thing about it is it can be used for any age group at any time of the day, at any time of the year, okay? So this is all up to you. It's going to take a little bit of prep time from you, and that's it. And then you just set it out and walk away, okay? So all that you're going to need is a basket, and I have something here today. It's a big old basket with handles. It's pretty deep. I'm doing a larger basket to show because of the books that I have. You can use a crate or just anything you have around your house that will hold things, okay? Now today, I'm just gonna walk you through something that I did with my girls last year, one of the things, because we're working through American history. So I just went around my house and I took all the things that I had laying around that maybe you found at a garage sale or you don't use. So I have here the incredible journey of Lewis and Clark. I'm gonna add that in. I have this old book that I actually, I think growing up had laying on the table in my house. Beautiful pictures, it's Forever Stars and Stripes. I'm gonna add that to my basket. I also have just a variety of books here, all pertaining to the United States, history, and even I'm throwing in an historical atlas. I'm just gonna kind of scatter those in my basket. And I also have this little map. I think, I, I don't know where I found this. Um, it has something that you can take out and move around to the different states. I'm gonna add that in. I have a game here, a president's game. I have a president's uh, flashcards. I also have some other like more fun flashcards with different facts. And then I have things like the preamble cards and some different little cutouts of the articles of the Constitution. And so all I'm doing is creating a basket, okay? This is our U.S. history basket. I'm gonna set this out anywhere in my house that, well, I want something, you know, that will be visible to my learners in the house. And I just may create many of these baskets and set them out. I could do an art theme. I could do a book theme. Um, I could do a biography theme on a certain person and add different things to it. Um, maybe animals and add a stuffed animal in there if they're younger, if they're older, maybe add a beautiful map and um, some different links to a computer. So all I'm doing is creating something, it's very similar to, let's say a morning basket that you have with all these different things that you want to get through. Oh, I know what else I had. Well, oh, that's all right, but it's a geography book. Huh. Anyway, I'll stick it in. <laughs> had some more maps on there. I, I felt that on my knee there. Okay, so anyway, it's just taking time to kind of create little piles of things that you have, adding in some more fun things, and just setting it out through your house, setting it on a shelf or a desk. Um, maybe you put it in a closet and then when you feel like it's time, you just bring those right out. And you let your kids learn. You let them discover those things and learn on their own, okay? So it's like, you could just say, go find some things to learn about today. Or in my house, what we do now that my kids are older is I'll say after lunch, okay, after lunch in chore time from one to three, it's, you know, you choose what you'd like to do. That would mean maybe piano, typing, um, or baskets. And so that's, or reading. And that's their opportunity to go discover some things and just sit down with that basket and go through it and encourage them to learn on their own. So instead of you having that basket with all those books and you having to lead everything and direct everything and teach everything and read everything, just stop, put it out and let them explore and discover on their own. 
trust me, it will be so much more fun for the child, no matter what age they are, young or old. And there's nothing better than having those little kids go on a little treasure hunt to find something and they can just go sit and be kept busy or an older student, a high school student that maybe just needs a break, or you just say, you know what, let's just take off math today and just go discover some things in the, the higher learning baskets, you know, for that age group and just give them time to enjoy learning. So anyway, you guys be creative, get things around your house, put it out. I have, to, I have an art basket that I keep out and I could show you many more baskets. I have all kinds of books around me right now, but you could create a basket of art in different books. Um, I don't know, the list is endless. So you guys have fun doing that, but trust me, it is something that will work and your kids will enjoy that opportunity to go on their own and do those things. So. Good luck. I hope you guys have fun um, prepping those things and let me know if you need any help with ideas or have any questions.